Welcome in Niner Nation, it's Brendan Ferguson with Charlotte49ers.tv. I'm here at Robert and Miriam Hayes Stadium as the Diamond Niners get ready for a big 8-10 weekend series against the Dayton Flyers coming up. The Niners lost 9-5 at home on Tuesday to the High Point Panthers, a game in which they led 5-1 after one inning and were held scoreless through the last eight, losing it by four runs. I got a chance to talk to Coach Hibbs and a couple of the players and one thing that's on all of their minds is that they want to get more consistent. I think it starts at the core with each guy individually trying to, to make some subtle improvements. We don't need somebody to go from, from being a, a lower end player to being an All-American. You know, that's not going to happen between now and the end of the season. But for each guy to, first of all, be better individually every single day. Uh, there's such a small window. Anybody that's done any research on how baseball is running Atlantic 10 understands that we only play 24 conference games. And there's only six out of the you know the 13 schools that play now that go to the conference tournament. So it's less than half of the schools. So a uh, very small window, very small margin for error. Well, so far it seems like we're almost taking one step forward and kind of two steps back. And I think we're going to have a game here coming up that it's going to everything's going to click and we're going to start rolling. And we just need to happen Friday and just keep working hard. You know, I think we're all excited. They've got a lot of returning guys. We got. A lot of our guys back still too, so I mean, I don't think we should treat it any different than any weekend that we've had so far, other than just come out and play harder. Uh, you know, they're going to play like it's the World Series. They, they always do against us. They seem to play pretty well against us. Uh, they've got some veteran starting pitching guys that have been around the league for a couple, two or three years. Uh, usually a pretty physical team in terms of swinging the bat. Uh, and again, we'll be prepared. Uh, it's definitely a positive to be at home. We have a great student section. Uh, great fans. Uh, it should be warm weather, fireworks, there should be a lot of people out, so that should probably get everybody in the dugout pretty excited. So we're hoping for three wins this weekend. Yeah, well, it is nice to be at home finally for one weekend. Uh, been on the road the past two weeks, but uh, you know, I think we're still pretty excited. Fireworks is always fun, you know, everybody loves fireworks. Things that go boom, but uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of fireworks on the field too with our bats and with our pitching. Well, again, just really looking forward to the opportunity to play because every chance we get to get out here and try to make improvement and get better, uh, we, we welcome that opportunity. And the players mentioned it is fireworks night on Friday night. Hopefully the 49er bats can light a few fireworks up in the night sky as well on Friday. The game can be seen on charlotte49ers.com as always on Friday and on Saturday and Sunday as well. But if you cannot see the live web stream on Saturday and Sunday, you can always listen in. ESPN 730 as they'll have both games Saturday and Sunday against Dayton. For Charlotte 49ers.tv, I'm Brandon Ferguson.